from No YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Oxygen Not Included. So, today I think we are going to be wrapping things up with our colony here, do a little overview of the things we tried, the things we uh, uh, succeeded at, and where we may have gone wrong. Um, so, just a, uh, first off, a quick, or not so quick thank you to all of my uh, uh, patrons. Without you, this, uh, this series would not have been possible, or nearly as challenging as it ended up to be, uh, being. Um, so I want to give special th thank you to Larissa, Nathan, Thibbo, Hiko, Jetstream, No Image, Cameron, Mimic, Michael, Boyd, uh, Andrew, Espen, Melina, Zephira, Erti, um, Aurelius, and Shona. Thank you, all 17 of you, for making this, uh, this particular playthrough especially challenging. And I do mean that. I mean that earnestly, because I do like me a good challenge. Now then, let's take a look at our base and what uh, what builds went well, what things might not have gone so well. So, first thing, bit of tech here, I do highly recommend this setup right here. This got us off to a really strong start, and I'm really happy we invested the time and effort to do it. Um, again, the CO2 pit down here with the ration box down here. Um, two ladders above it, inside! of a nature preserve. Don't forget that nature, oops, which one, one of these, yeah. Uh, this counts as a nature reserve, plus six morale. We have not, for this entire series, built ourselves a um, great hall. And I, I dare say we don't need to, at least not until much, 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 much later. Uh, because of the morale our dupes get from coming in here, because they have to come in here to eat. Um, and then on top of it, literally on top of all that, uh, we've got our cooking grill um, on top of a uh, mechanized airlock that w is set to uh, occasionally uh, open itself and dump whatever produced food was down here so we don't have to haul it down here. Um, so, yeah, that's about as efficient and as effective as we can get with this whole setup. And it takes care of two very important things. That is actually three things, food preservation, morale, and food production, very efficiently. Um, if I had done this a little differently, I would have, uh, I would have actually kept room above the uh, food place so that we could go gas range and uh, as well as our um, meal musher uh, as needed for future, for future dishes. Um, this particular uh, lavatory setup works out quite nicely once we got the piping set up. Um, door on both sides, one of these set to um, uh, one way only, um, but this one allows travel for both directions. Uh, and this allows people to get to it and make sure they wash their hands every single time. This little setup right here, once we got everything sorted with the whole... Um, um, uh, uh, hydrogen uh, gases and as well as the heater. This setup works really, really well. I'm really happy with this because we got pincha pepper plants on the bottom um, and then you've got the hydroponic farm tiles which is supporting all of the stuff up here. Uh, and of course you got the hydrogen gas which allows you to get the reed fibers. Now when I've gone through this problem, um, th this, this, uh, the trouble of all this, had I not been um, uh, in the Badlands and thus had no access to slime, probably not. Because if you can just, I mean, if you have a slime biome, you can just go and harvest reed fiber naturally. You don't have to bother yourself with these guys. But being that we did, I'm glad we, I'm glad we did it the way we did. Um, our power station once uh, working out like this. Oh yeah, let's let's uh, let's get it finalized here um, because I had to scooch that over because it was uh, it was annoying me. It was annoying me to say the very least. But this little thing right here works out quite nicely. I'm guessing I need to worry about the. Uh, uh, I need to fix some of the piping up above uh, or some of our extractions. Uh, for the wrong ele element damage. Uh, this right here working out quite nicely. Once you, we got ourselves our slickster eggs, these things have been working quite nicely. And um, if we were continuing this, we would have been able to get ourselves some uh, nice oil industries going. 
Uh, up here, this little uh, array right here, I think we could make this a little bit more efficient. These are a lot of lights to keep the power on here, so I would not copy-paste this particular design. Uh, but this little thing right here, this little roundabout, this is about as efficient as we can get because this don't cost power and yet it is providing uh, food giving light to all of our Bristol Blossoms surrounding it. Um, so yeah, oh and this thing, this thing is working out quite nicely. Um, a little bit of chlorine up here, uh, but that's because we're piping in chlorine gas um, faster than this thing is producing it. Um, what I would probably do is probably put the ladder over here so that this thing would be exerting its pressure more directly and thus preventing it from, from flowing up and over because it would be pushing out oxygen. Um, so other than that, I think that's the only modification I do to this particular design. Uh, so yeah, that is, that is our colony uh, and my overview. I hope you guys found this series useful, helpful, and entertaining. Um, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. Um, so until next time, keep your eyes open for some new goodies, uh, some new series, some new games, some uh, you haven't seen, some you, uh, well, actually most of them you haven't seen yet. Actually, one of you have seen one you have. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned. I promise it will be entertaining. Pinstar out. See ya!